Hi there again, PMDG Simmers. Uh, this is part two of the tutorial, of the fuel management tutorial. And in this part of the tutorial, I will try to answer about um, two main FMC fuel related messages. What in what I, uh, one is the insufficient fuel and the other one is the imbalanced fuel in tanks two and three. And uh, this is like uh, two messages many simmers get while they fly while they plan their, their routes or uh, actually while flying as well and uh, actually the insufficient fuel message can occur from few reasons and uh, when you get the insufficient fuel it doesn't mean most of the times it doesn't mean you don't have enough fuel for your flight but actually it means that the fuel you loaded to this specific flight is not sufficient for the route you are flying so in most of the times, it actually means that you ha that you have too much fuel, and you should remember that the goal is to fly just with the amount of fuel you need for the flight, and not to tank the uh, the aircraft uh, full uh, full in fuel tanks for for each flight because it's it's not sufficient, and in real flying, it will never happen because uh, it it will be not cost effective and uh, we want to fly uh, cost effective and this is why I talked in part one I spoke about uh, the cost index number and why it is important to fly sufficient uh, in a sufficient way and uh, please remember that uh, when you load the amounts of fuel um, actually the PMDG 747-400 aircraft uh, reacts uh, accordingly so if you are with uh, if you are lighter with fuel the aircraft will climb faster, will move faster, and if you are fuel with, and if you are full with the fuel amount, of course the aircraft will be heavier. The climb after takeoff will be slower, and you can actually feel that the aircraft is full and and more massive. And you can actually feel it while flying. So we said that the first reason can be that, of course, that you might have too much fuel so you need to check your reserves fuel maybe maybe the number that you have in the reserves fuel is not needed and you can reduce that number other reason can be that your flight plane going through wind conditions that your FMC is not aware of so do you need to check and reset if needed if your show all is right it might be just a bug so you know reset your flight and load your fuel manually like, uh, like uh, shown in part one from the MM, from the PMDG add-on on the upper bar menu, and uh, I guess that most of these ways will sort the problem out. But the main thing that if you will follow the instructions in part one about weight and fuel, I guess that in 99% you will never get the insufficient fuel message because um, both your weight and fuel will be uh, accurate for your flight route. So if, uh, if the numbers are really accurate, there is no reason for you to get the insufficient fuel. Alright, so now uh, for the second FMC fuel related message is the imbalance fuel in tanks 2 and 3. And uh, let's take a look at the gouge, uh, the fuel gouge that I'm currently showing you. And as you can see, there is tank main main one tank main two main three main four there is one in the center area of the plane and there is one on the stubborn area of the plane and as you can see in tank main three there is uh, the number 84 and in main tank main two there is the number 83.4 so we already see that in tank three we have more fuel than in tank two and why this is happening it should be balanced, the fuel should be balanced at the airplane and the answer for this is that when you use the APU too much uh, while you are planning uh, your flight route and all other um, procedures you need to do the APU actually consumes its fuel from tank 2 now just to mention um, the just to to mention about this issue, the APU, the auxiliary power unit, is actually a small engine 
and the back at the back part of the aircraft that gives the um, power for the aircraft instrumentation until actually you fire up the engines so until you actually fire up the engines the APU consumes its fuel from tank 2 so if you use the APU too much or, uh, or in a very long time you will get an imbalance fuel in tank 3 and 2 so how you sort this out for you to sort this out you use the buttons of the override in tank 3 and if the situation is opposite and you have too much in tank 2 compared to, two, to, compare to tank 3 you will need to override tank 2 the override buttons are located right here you can see those two are of, may of tank 2 and those are of tank 3 and what this actually means that if you override main tank 3 tank 3 will feed both engines 3 and 4 and opposite if you override tank 2 tank fuel tank 2 will feed both engines 2 and 1 and logically if you feed both engines 3 and 4 by only tank 3 the number of fuel in tank 3 will reduce faster and by that will be again balanced with the fuel number in tank 2 so you need just to play with it you can uh, actually uh, stage a situation where the APU consumes too much fuel from t main tank 2 get into a flight when you actually get an imbalance fuel message and try to sort this out while flying and actually see that you can balance again your fuel in your uh, in your fuel tanks at the aircraft and as and uh, actually one more thing about this you see the uh, valves joints here with the gouge this actually calls this is called the X feed and the X feed means that you can actually for example close the valve of, of actually of engine 1 and this, that means that engine 1 will be fed only by tank 1 you can play with it with X feed number 2, number 3 and number 4 and X feed means that actually you can feed an engine by a specific fuel tank so again try flying try uh, to actually stage the situation on, of an insuff of uh, imbalanced fuel and try to see that you actually can sort this out now if you tried everything and nothing helps nothing actually sorting or solving this issue you can uh, go you can again go to the add-ons PMDG aircraft fuel uh, insert again manually the number of fuel you need for your flight and again you will see the numbers get balanced and it will be balanced all over the plane and uh, the message, the FMC message of uh, imbalanced fuel uh, will disappear so I recommend you just to, uh, to try it and to actually feel it while flying and how you saw this out and um, that's about it for this time so uh, have fun, keep on flying uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next time thank you